Hello everyone. Let us discuss the homework solutions of grade 8 mathematics chapter number 1 that is rational numbers. Dear students, we have learned about the definition of rational numbers, additive inverse, additive identity, multiplicative inverse, multiplicative identity in the previous lecture. On the basis of that, I gave you few questions. Let us discuss the solution of those very questions. Now, exercise 1.1, let us have a look at question number 2. The question says, write the additive inverse of each of the following. Now, before moving directly to the, uh, to the solution, it, is, it should be known to us how to find out the additive inverse of a rational number. As we have discussed earlier, what do you mean by additive inverse? Additive inverse means to find out the negative of a given rational number. Inverse, definitely it says the negative of rational number and additive inverse as we have discussed earlier that 0 is known as the additive identity. So, I need any, uh, I need to add uh, the rational number to the given rational number so that the answer becomes to be, uh, is equal to be 0. So, to find out the additive inverse, I need to take the negative of the given rational number, simple as this. Now, so the first part is 2 over 8. So, the additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus of 2 over 8 that is equal to minus 2 by 8. Now, let us take second part which is equal to minus 5 over 9. So, the additive inverse of minus 5 over 9 is negative of this rational number. So, the negative of the given rational number that is minus 5 over 9 is equal to 5 over 9. Now, let us discuss question number 3. The question is, verify that minus of minus x is equal to x. First of all, I need to verify left hand side and if that left hand side is equal to be right hand side, then my answer will be verified. So, I am taking first uh, left hand side that is minus of minus x. Now, let us take second part that is x is equal to minus 13 over 7. So, left hand side is minus of minus x. First of all, I need to take the negative of the given value of x. The given value of x is minus 13 over 7. So, the negative of this minus 13 over 7, it will be positive and the sign, out, negative sign which is outside this bracket, it will give you the final answer as minus 13 over 17 which is equal to x and hence which is equal to right hand side and hence our solution gets verified okay likewise we can do other parts also positive part can be easy to uh, it, it is very easy to do positive part so that is why i have taken the example of negative part so that you do not face any problem in doing the, the rest of the parts of this same question now question number four is find the multiplicative inverse of the following as we have discussed earlier, what do you mean by multiplicative inverse? I need to find the, I need to multiply the given rational number by that rational number so that answer comes out to be 1. So, the concept used, uh, the concept which will be used in this question will be the reciprocal of the given rational number is the multiplicative inverse and 1 is the multiplicative identity because we want the answer 1. So, and we know that multiplicative identity, 1 is the multiplicative uh, identity of rational number. So, I need to take the reciprocal of the given rational number to find out the multiplicative inverse. So, second part, let us take second part which is equal to minus 13 over 19. Now, to find out the multiplicative inverse, I need to take the reciprocal of the given rational number. So, the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 is equal to minus 19 over 13 which is the a multi, a reciprocal of the given rational number. So, it means while finding the multiplicative inverse, if the number is negative, the answer will definitely remain in negative, but the only thing is we need to take the reciprocal of the given rational number. That's it. Now, let us take fourth part. It is minus 5 over 8 multiplied by minus 3 over 7. First of all, to find out the multiplicative inverse of these two numbers, I need to multiply them first. So, after multiplying, I will be getting 15 over 56. So, the multiplicative inverse of 15 over 56 is reciprocal of this number, rational number. So, it will be 56 over 15 because I need to get the answer as 1. So, 15 over 56 multiplied by 56 over 15 that will give you 1. 
okay so in short to find out the additive inverse i need to get the answer zero so to find out the additive in inverse i need to take the negative of the rational number and to find out the multiplicative inverse i need to take the reciprocal of the given rational number i hope all these questions are clear so you are supposed to do all these questions in your homework notebook thank you